All right, so this is the Chief Herb video for my Healer's Hand Skin Balm. The Chief Herb of this formula is Bidoco. Bidoco is round cardamom, and you may know what cardamom is from chai masala, if you're a chai drinker or the Indian tea. This is a different cardamom, but it's in the family. The herb itself looks like this. It's beautiful and fragrant and it's from the category of herbs that's in the aromatically transform dampness. So damp comes from moisture outside the body and from the systems in the body that produce mucus. So whether we drink water, there's moisture in the air that comes through in any form or we are secreting mucus from our digestive tract it finds its way into different systems. And this specific herb is so gentle. It's uh, the chief herb in this formula because it's a topical product and it's gentle enough that what it does, it helps cellular transport to move fluids without drying out other systems. It's very balanced. This specific one, and I'm using the Materia Medica, which is a, this one's a specifically the Chinese Materia Medica. Let me show it to you. There it is. This third edition is by Dan Binsky, Stephen Clavi, and Eric Stoger with Andrew Gamble. So this specific herb, Baidoko, is, like I said, its pharmaceutical name, I didn't say that, its pharmaceutical name is Omomi Fructus Rotundus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through the actual herbs and describe, or this herb, describe a translation or a symptom you may have associated with it. The English name is round cardamom or cardamom cluster. Its channels entered, now the channels entered in Chinese medicine are based on not just the organ name itself, but the meridians that are needled or massaged in a treatment. The lung, the spleen, and the stomach. Now let's look at how they describe in the commentary section, which is the best one to kind of convey the personality of the herb because there's a lot of details in here that could be just Chinese medicine or TCM uh, specific as a practitioner and it can get dry. So commentary. It is acrid, warm, and aromatic. Omomi fructus rotundus by Doko enters the lung, spleen, and stomach channels. It warms, disseminates, and pierces through turbidity by virtue of its aroma and can mobilize stagnant chi within the triple burner while opening the middle and easing the stomach. So let me explain some of these. The triple burner is also called the sen jiao in Chinese medicine. It's closely related or it's basically the connective tissue layers of the body that hold all of the immune system cells. And so it helps moving fluid out of these areas so that you don't get chronic inflammation. The immune system layer is one of the last parts of the body that your body prioritizes, prioritizes for healing because what is it when we need blood and nutrition and function to be the strongest, we need it from brain to the organs to for survival. So our body's efficient. It cuts off flow from the extremities in until we completely shut down and pass. So if we're in a state of disease, it cuts back flow at the extremities in still, and that goes for the connective tissue layer. So the triple burner or the San Jiao in here, this by going in and transforming damp, meaning clearing out basically dirty stagnant water, doesn't have aeration circulation, and also clearing out excess mucus. The aroma, the aromatic aspect of it is in the spleen sense, spleen to lung or stomach, it resolves mind patterns that could have arisen from a bacterial imbalance internally or perspective balance internally. So I can create more phlegm and mucus by overthinking over worry, cause a disharmony in my third chakra where the pancreas, which is associated with spleen and metabolism and the stomach and the liver all reside. But we're looking specifically at stomach, spleen, and lung for this herb. The lung in the Chinese medicine cabinet goes and outpours to the skin. So this herb in the aromatic aspect, it opens when applied topically, 
it opens up the skin so that the cells can make room for life to breathe out from underneath, kind of like tilling soil for your garden. So very gentle without drying. It is particularly effective for dredging and dispersing lung chi blockage, excessive mucus. It can warm the middle, transform dampness, awaken the spleen by moving fluid, and restore the appetite. In this way, it treats phlegm damp obstruction in the lungs and chi stasis, which causes a stifling sensation in the chest. It does this by its warming transformation of phlegm dampness and its ability to disseminate the lung chi. This kind of pattern would be like Think of an older person who wakes up and has to cough mucus out in the morning. And if it doesn't move on its own, often drinking coffee or another type of cardiotonic, cardiopulmonary tonic like that will stimulate the mucus to move in the body and get all the cells to kick it out. And often without that extra punch, not for alertness with age as people experience it, but more for clearing the biology, uh, this facilitates the same thing without the caffeine high. So think about that for your cells, internal, external. It also treats cold dampness obstructing the middle with nausea, vomiting, hiccup, or reflux, and stomach and intestinal chi constraint with epigastric and abdominal distension and pain. So an excess of phlegm damp in the bio system being resolved with this herb, a lot of these symptoms that you're hearing there on the cold phlegm damp in the middle are cancerous type symptoms in Western medicine and also parasitic. So it's an assistant herb in healing and changing cellular outcomes associated with those types of patterns as well. It's wonderful for metabolism, especially if you have a tendency towards allergies in the winter and fall. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that. Remember, this is the chief herb, the primary herb in the formula, and it enters the lung, the stomach, and the spleen, gently transforming damp. This is like grandmother coming in and taking care of the kids. She's like, I know how to take care of these kids, and I'm not going to be rough about it. They won't even know what happened. They'll think they just had a cookie and everything's better, but the rooms will be clean and they'll have done it. That's this herb.